crap. Look at the size of this wheel. This thing is massive. What's up, Cobra? Yo, what up, man? Cobra, thank you very much for hosting this demo today. Definitely, baby. Definitely. Glad to bring it out. Matter of fact, let me get the Sherman S out too so we can Give see Give your boys both. over at E-Wheels a shout. Yeah, E-Wheels, you know it. I appreciate you guys for sending this wheel out and free motion for sending the Sherman S out. Definitely. Ooh, thank baby. you both. Oh, man. The big fella on the V13. Yeah, buddy. That's a big wheel, man. It's a smooth wheel, though. Oh. All right, what's going on guys, your man George, and today I am here in Boston over at River Green Park once again to do a demo on the V13. Your man Cobra brought it out here for us all to try. He also brought a Sherman suspension wheel, but we've already seen that. We're really focused on this in-motion V13. I wasn't sure if or when I would get a chance to ride one, so I'm really excited to check this thing out. Let's uh, see what happens. Awesome. It's a lot stiffer. <laughs> yeah, a Sherman S I was not a fan of. It feels very V11. Too much absorption. I, or like bounce, I guess. Rebound. I like it. Having some trouble with the rebound. Look at the rod just coming out. That's not good. No. It just came right out, huh? The rod is just, yeah, it's just Man. free, free, freely spinning there. Yeah. Now, do you know how many people have had this wheel before you, Coba? Um, <clears throat> this one. Is this the same one Marty um, had? It, no, this one came from Sean. Okay. So I think Sean was the first one with it. So I think I'm the second. I think. But it just, it's not gripping at all. I don't, I don't understand why it's. It's already busted. Yeah. <laughs> Real piece broken on it. Now I know why there, there there wasn't a lot of rebound on it. Like it, I think this side is not attached like it should be. And it would be help, helpful if I had it in the right direction. <laughs> I was gonna say you get it would be a little backward there. Yeah, it's not. I thought it was kind of weird. Hello. Are you talking to yourself again? That's what I do best, baby. Talk, talk George, talk. We all right here we go on the V13. This thing is a monster. I'll tell you what. It feels to me a lot like the Master Pro. Just immediately, my first impression hopping onto it, it's got that same 22-inch tire, and you can feel the weight between your legs. This is a beast of a wheel. It's got some crazy power to it though, I'll tell you. The torque on this is very, very good. So the InMotion V13 is InMotion's second attempt at a suspension wheel, right? This is a predecessor of the V11. And my first impression so far of the suspension, the way it's set up as is, it's really not much better than the V11. I mean, I gotta say, considering I'm used to like my EX20, uh, I just rode an EX30 the other day, my T4, this it really doesn't compare. It does the job, right? It's suspension, I feel it, it's there, but it definitely uh, isn't in the class of the other Bagode wheels or the Sherman S or anything like that. It's uh, definitely, definitely a step below all those other wheels. It, it's definitely got a lot of gyroscopic effect here in the turns. Uh, especially as you get going a little bit faster. It definitely wants to stay upright. I don't know how much of that is the tire as, oh, whoa, 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 sidewalk closed. What are we talking about here? Oh, the braking's a little bit sluggish, but uh, oh. yeah, I mean, it's a little clunky in a sharp turn like that, but that's what you'd expect from a 120 pound reel, right? This is one of the heaviest electric unicycles ever made. This thing is a monster. Yeah, the suspension feels like absolute crap though. Not a fan of that at all. And granted, look, we already know, I was, we just watched Cobra break the pin or whatever, it was already broken. The suspension is definitely not tuned. So I'll give it a little pass, but based on my first uh, impressions here, not a fan. The wheel itself, however, performs beautifully. I mean, I'm already very comfortable on this wheel as far as 
going pretty quick. She's uh, she purrs. This thing is smooth. Gotta say, I walked mean, this thing and ride it all day. But I'm gonna let somebody else have a turn. <laughs> George is out on the V13. Woo. All right, snag the V13 again. <laughs> Pulled it right out the crowd. This thing's badass. Couldn't help myself. I got to keep riding. <laughs> All right, Cobra said there was no air in the suspension. There was a, there was actually like 130. Okay, maybe that's well, yeah. now we're gonna have to retry. It. I, I we'll bumped retry it. Up, I'm bumping it up to 300. All right, look. If it feels better, I apologize for trashing the suspension. <laughs> the we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. We'll see. I think that. Because the, the Sherman S, I was riding, I've been riding the Sherman S, so I, you don't have to pump that up. So this, going back, I forgot. Just like on the Master, you got to <laughs> pump it up. You got to put air in it. So. All right, we'll see. We'll see what the difference is. I think it's my fault. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the same thing. Sorry. I got on the V13 with some more pressure in the suspension. Definitely feels better. Still not great. Honestly, feels like the V11. It's good. It gets the job done. It's something. It's better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. It's way better than nothing. I will take this suspension over no suspension. But it's definitely not uh, as plush as some of the other options currently on the market. 24, 20, 25 people at least. What a turnout. So we found, we got a cutout, George. Cut out. He cut it out. He cut it out in the, in the dirt. Of Jeff. It's always yeah. Jeff. So Jeff, Jeff did the angle in the dirt. We were wondering where he was at, and he comes back with mud on the side of it. I'm like, what happened? And he's oh well, it cut out. <laughs> you know how it is. You know, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, he said he was coming in the dirt in the angle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There's like a bank on the side over there. You just come into it. And just... Do you know if there's an angle adjustment? I know some of them have. There's like... an angle adjustment on the V13, and I believe there's one on the Sherman. I don't know what it's set to, though. And obviously, it's not set far enough for Jeff. <laughs> Nothing set far enough for Jeff. <laughs> so we might have to work on the lean angle. <laughs> I think the motor might be clipping something in there because it. You want me to take it for a spin? I might be break it. You, I noticed if you give it a we little. We broke the, VL, the V13. Uh -uh. No, it's not the no, turn. No. It was weird because I I heard it and then I heard it louder. I was like, "There's one. There's another." Oh yeah, I just heard it grunt. Right there. I don't know if it's. Like so, I know they've been having problems with. Right there. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, here, let's try it again. See if you can see if you can get it. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Oh, that's oh, not good. I don't know what that is, but it ain't good. <laughs> All right, so my final thoughts here on the V13. I would say I'm a big fan. I like it a lot. Definitely uh, wait for the second batch. <laughs> I can't say I would uh, buy the first batch on this thing. It's got too many problems. The suspension's just not there. Uh, as you saw, we had some kind of an issue here on the demo where it's now starting to rumble. I have a suspicion that uh, it's got it's, it's something's cracked inside, probably from jumping it. And I, I just I can't say I would suggest buying the first batch here on this V13. Big fan of how it feels. Super smooth. Super powerful. I mean, crazy powerful. But uh, definitely uh, need some kinks worked out of it here. Uh, I know InMotion's got reputation of being just one of the best companies out there as far, far as aftermarket support. So I'm sure they're going to be addressing these problems. And I bet you future versions of the V13 are going to be fantastic. So I would wait for one of those. Um, all in all, super excited I got to ride the thing today. I wasn't sure if or when I was going to see one. So when I saw Cobra was doing the meetup, there was no way I was missing it. So uh, yeah, well... Anyways, those are my thoughts on the V13, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video, as always. Be sure to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, ride safe. We out.